Hey, I'm here. So I'm waiting for Kelly to join. Kels, are you there? Ow, that tea is hot. Waiting for Kelly. There she is. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Where's oh, oh, Debbie Allen? What? Cheers. Oh, here she is. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Here's tea. What are you drinking? I have tea. I'm drinking a Nebbiolo. Um, and I I still have my trays in my Invisalign, oh. so um, they're, it's gonna, I'm, 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 I'm doing a dye job tonight on my Invisalign trays with my red wine. I see. Um, I need red wine. I have tea, I'm pouring. No, it's not a tea kind of evening. This is very, um, what is Catherine wearing? She looks sexy. It's a very sexy episode. I don't, look at Debbie's waist is snatched. Why is she look so at that waist? Thing. That's 70, honey. That's how Debbie Allen does 70. Look she is her. not. She is. She just turned 70. What? Yes. Isn't she unbelievable? I literally was just arguing with my husband about how she was not nowhere near 70 years old the other day. Yeah, he, you, you lost that argument. I lost. I just got, I just got told, honey, you were right. Look at that. Look at that. That was a true marriage moment. I told my husband. He was right. Speaking of marriage moments. Wait, are these two making up or not? Are we making out? What? No, making up. Or oh. <laughs> we're fighting right now. I'm watching this show. It looks like they are making up. Aww. Uh oh, they're getting on the bed. They're so cute. That Jim Pickens is something special, boy. I love him. I just love that guy. I love both of them. Oh, my heart. My heart. Commercial break. What's going on, Al? Um, I did a lot of cleaning mm. today. You did a lot of cleaning today. I did a lot of cleaning. Yep. I mean, it's two weeks in, right? It's like it's got. It's now. And it's now where it's gonna get really gnarly. Yeah, listen. <laughs> that that bathroom is shining. It's spotless. <laughs> I'm so proud. It smells you. clean. The shower gonna... doors are glistening. I'm very proud of myself. Well, I'm proud of you because that is um, not my ministry. <laughs> okay. What'd you do today? <laughs> um, I mean, so little. What day is it even? I don't know. Um, it's Thursday. Oh, you know what I did today that I want to talk about? What? Um, which everyone's not so um, fortunate to be able to do. But if you can, today I donated to uh, Bethany Frankel has um, an initiative called Be Strong. Mm -hmm. And Bethany is extraordinary in her philanthropic efforts and her um, disaster relief efforts. Mm -hmm. uh, she was one of the first people into Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. um, and she was there before the government was. And because of her experience going into Puerto Rico and helping after the uh, earthquake, it was an earthquake, right? Yeah, well, there yeah. was an earthquake and there have been tropical storms hurricane well actually was it the hurricane that what she went in there for there have been earthquakes since then but it was, it was probably a, the hurricane was the big recent um there have been too many but yes it was a hurricane yeah probably. um for puerto rico yeah. um anyway so so because of her experience i think that's when she started was with uh, Puerto Rico and, and the lack of assistance that came from this administration, big surprise, um, to, to, to the Puerto Rican people. She started this initiative. She got water there. She got resources there. And 
she sort of figured this out and now she has this incredible yeah. network and grid system and she knows exactly what she's doing. She knows how to do it. And <laughs> how about um, that? She was she experienced, taught her how to build <laughs> yeah. infrastructure and help help people. Yeah. Well, who would have thought that was possible? You could draw on past experience to figure this out. I mean, gosh. Yeah. What a novel should... concept, huh? Yeah. Um, so anyway, so she has this um, whole incredible network. And, um, and me and some of my friends did a lot of research um, about who was doing what. And she really is boots on the ground. I mean, she's really making it happen. What is, um, where is she? Or, or she's what, out what... of New York City. Oh, okay. Um, and, um, and she has access to a ton of masks and, um, and the, the equipment to get the masks to where they need to be, more importantly. Wow. Wow. Um, remember, with, in Puerto Rico, remember they found a warehouse full of water bottles, like sitting in a warehouse, like they just found them like six months ago or something. Did you see that story? I did not, but the show is back on. Can I hold that oh, thought? Yes, no. yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Look at that location. What hotel is that, Kelly? Oh, that's the Biltmore, downtown oh, LA. Beautiful. It's gorgeous, right? Yeah. So that's cool. photogenic. There. Where's Pete? I know I warned him. I did warn him. <laughs> Spinning, you were like spinning circle of death for a second. Why? Why are you frozen for me? Is she frozen for anybody else? Wait, wait a minute. I can't hear or see you. You're not moving. There you are. Okay, now you're moving again. Hello. What was that now? I said, Pete, isn't he tired? He should go take a nap now. I know. I think you should probably go to bed, honey. <laughs> no? He... Um, help me! Motel. Uh, <laughs> needs to poo. Yeah, yeah. Motel needs to go out. <laughs> Pete just said I need to go get the coronavirus real quick. <laughs> oh, God That's forbid. Not that is not funny. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> um, oh, okay, but I need to watch this. Distract Pete. I know. Um, I appreciate how people in the comments, oh my goodness. Well, gosh, that escalated quickly. Um, Kelly uh, McCreary. Wow, that is not Kelly McCreary. That is Maggie That is Pierce. Maggie Pierce. That is not Maggie <laughs> Pierce. You just said hello. I know, we basically just met. Oh my goodness, but look at my back muscles, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice hands, too. Thank Whoa. you. <laughs> Good thing the children are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> they better be, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> okay, so. So you got reacquainted and now you're gonna now you're by the pool. We we got reacquainted and those were um flash 
forwards? Can I say that? I don't think that's a. a oh, oh, yeah. those are flash forwards. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. I that's, think. All right. That's making more sense. Yeah, because we're just hanging out now, right? How cute is Anthony Hill? Can you tag people in these to like let them know that you're? Hey, Jesse Williams is down there. Hi, Jesse. I just saw your comment. Did he? What did he say? Hi, Jesse. I'm going live with Jesse at nine thirty. Yeah, he said, wait, what? I think he thought that I was, that he was supposed to be live with you right now. Jesse, you're the next shift. We're going to divide and conquer. Jesse's going to be here with Ellen, and I'm going to go over to Gray's ABC, and I'm going to chat with Kim Raver, who also has a beautiful storyline in this episode. Wait for it. It's coming. Um, I, so, yeah, so I wasn't in this episode, so... I only remember what I remember. Oh, I didn't, wasn't even at the table read because I wasn't in it, so. I know, I know, I know. So this is all brand new to you. It's, it's frankly brand new to me too. We actually shot this in November. Um, I was so sick. I was so sick while we were shooting this. I felt so bad for poor Anthony. I was coughing and just like hacking and... I believe, no, no, I'm sure this was the episode in which I had um, one of those toddler style um, emotional breakdowns from exhaustion. Oh. And I just like, <laughs> I was like, I'm crying now when I can't stop. And oh. it's just gonna be crying. Cause I was so, so sick. Um, and that's the was... worst doing, having to do love scenes, especially with like a new actor. Yes. When you're sick. I yeah. remember I had a cold when it was a wedding. Whose wedding was it when we were out at that Malibu ranch? Uh, was that Sarah or, or um, um, Joe, Joe, um, Joe and Alex, Joe and Alex's wedding. But then we moved. No, wasn't there a wedding on a boat? Yeah, but we shot, it was supposed to be at a ranch, and then there was a medical emergency, so they oh, wound right, up having... Oh, right, 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 right. When Giacomo kissed me there... That's right, I yes, had exactly. I cold, and I was so... You were sick. I felt terrible. Nightmare. Anthony Hill is a super trooper, a delight to work with. Not bad to look at. Who directed that episode? Alice and Liddy Brown. Mm. She's a gem. She's a gem. Okay, so now tell, continue telling me about Bethany Frankel and her um, stuff. Oh, so so Bethany is um, has uh, you can follow her on Instagram. Um, Bethany, I think Bethany. It's just Bethany Frankel. It's spelled B E T H E N N Y. It's like two mm -hmm. R's, I think. Um, cool. And she's got an organization called Be Strong. Mm -hmm. um, and she makes these um, Corona survival kits, but also um, going live on IG. Oh, that's Jesse Williams. Um, so she makes these, yes, Corona survival kits um, for uh, healthcare workers. And they have like hydration, a mask. Um, and yeah. you, can, you can donate to buy some of those. Dope, or you dope. can just donate to... Um, her, her, she has to purchase the masks. Right, um, right, right. She sends them. And I guess in my research, if the if I have this right, if the government buys them, like if, if Governor Cuomo buys the masks himself, if he, if he has access to masks, if the government buys them, there's some sort of red tape that the masks get held up in. Hmm. And that the supplies, whatever it is, Right. gets held up in some sort of red tape if it's 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 bought with a government credit card so to speak mm -hmm. um, but if a private if citizen, buys a private them. citizen she can buy them mm -hmm. and they literally there's no red tape they just go straight to the hospitals that need them what so, is that about what a nightmare yeah it really is a nightmare is. so um, um, i saw that Rihanna well, but, donated five million dollars mm. Um, did you see that? I didn't. No, 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 um, I, I didn't. 
incredible. She's an incredible girl. I love her mm -hmm. so much. Yeah, um, yeah. She has such a huge heart. She's mm -hmm. always one of the first people to step up and like drop so much coin when stuff goes on. Um, I love her so much. Oh, David Lane has a special. Yeah, he's got a new special coming out, I think, like next week or something. Um, that's dope. That's really, that's really heartening to hear. Um, yeah, I saw that Governor Cuomo thanked Rihanna for her donation. So I'm sure knowing her, a lot of it went to New York City and a lot of it went to the islands. Yeah. Um, probably. Um, so anyway, so that's one thing that I did today. Um, yeah. And, uh, and thank God for Bethany. She's out there really getting it done. It's really that's amazing. Dope. She's got an incredible um, sort of like in a cry. You know how, you know, I, I've been it's sort of uh, thinking about this theme of like, you know, what type of person you want to be in a crisis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, I think we all have good days and bad days. And, and, and every day I say to myself, you know, I, I want to be this type of person in a crisis. Like, I want to be the best mom. I want to make it fun for the kids. I want to, mm -hmm. I don't want to get aggravated. I don't want to get tired. I, I don't want to get depressed. I don't want to watch the news, you know, whatever. So okay. anyway, I've been thinking a lot about that, about, you know, what type What's, of person how you your want character to be in a shows up. You know? Yeah. yeah. And I think some people in crisis situations really thrive. It's so interesting. Right. Right. The Meredith phrase of the world, if you will, because we're back on. So let's do. Okay. okay yes. Here we go. There's Richard Flood, Cormac Hayes. Lovely guy. He is just a delight. This was the only time we've worked together all season, and I was just like, you're a keeper. Love you. Hilarious, yeah. charming, super fun. So, so fun. So fun to work with. Super charming. Ooh, what is this hair, though? Ooh. Who's this? Oh, that's him. That's oh, flashback that's hair. Flashback hair. He looks like Tom Cruise. Wait, that's why he literally does it. He looks like a different person. He yeah. does look like Tom Cruise. He looks that's like crazy. Tom Cruise. That's his wife, right? Mm-hmm. Oh no. So funny, he does look like Don Cruz. I mean, how can you not love that guy? She's so charming and delightful. This is going to get really sad, right? Yep. Black people love to solve problems with ginger ale. Ginger ale heals everything. <laughs> <laughs> really? I didn't know that. You got a stomach ache, ginger ale. You got a cold, ginger ale. 
you um you got menstrual cramps ginger ale well my husband doesn't have menstrual cramps <laughs> but he does, that i know of but he does drink ginger ale pretty much every day <laughs> Every That's why he's so healthy. He ginger ale. That's why he's so healthy. <laughs> I didn't know that was a black thing. <laughs> my grandmother used to. My grandmother used to drink a highball every night after dinner. Of what? what and I think the highball. I was a bartender for many years, but I really never made a highball. I think a highball is ginger ale and like whiskey. Okay. All right. I like that. Um, I always thought a highball was just the kind of glass that you put a drink in. I well, there is a highball glass, but highball is actually drink too. Oh, okay. I didn't know this. And I used to say, she really wasn't supposed to drink, you know, and I used to say, Nana, she used to sit. This is a great story. She used to sit in her chair and watch TV. And she had a table beside her chair. And there was a picture frame on the table. And she used to hide her drink behind the picture frame. And I would come in the room and I would say, Nana, do, do you have a drink behind that picture frame? And she'd yell at me and say, No. And then I would walk around, and I would see the drink, and I would say, Nana, yes, you do. You have a drink. And she would say, I'm 79 goddamn years old, and if I want to have a highball, I'll have a goddamn highball. And that is the end of the conversation. <laughs> Mind your business, little girl. Mind your business, little girl. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> the wife is dying. I can't take oh, it. Oh, God. That happened so quickly. We just were getting to know her. Oh no. She's a very beautiful woman. Yeah. My goodness. She's crushing the scene. Mm. Damn. Okay, that's that's everything. Oh boy. I mean, the kids in the room, like what? It's creepy. Stay as long as you want. Oh my god, I can't. This is hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Woof, that was a loaded moment. Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful room that is. This hospital was incredible to shoot in. And by the way, like business was going on completely normally behind us. That opening uh -oh, scene where we were in the reception area. It's like actual people checking in that we were just in the way of, basically. <laughs> Right, but that really helps. Like being on location yeah. helps so much. Yeah, to make it feel real. Who's this guy? This guy. Salesman. Oh. Smarmy salesman. Uh oh. Can't find out. I don't want your drink. Oh, you know. 
Jesus. Well. Ooh, ciao. It's Debbie Allen say. <laughs> Debbie Allen say. Um, okay, it's commercial break, and I have three minutes before you switch over to a live with Jesse and I switch over to a live with Kim. We're dividing and conquering this evening. Yes, people. we are. Um, and and so with these last couple of minutes, should we at, answer a few questions in the comments? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hit us. Hit us with your questions real quick. We got like three minutes to answer them. We're watching Grays. Yes. We didn't want to interrupt your viewing pleasure of Grays. We wanted to save our commentary for the commercial so that we could all watch it together. So hit us now. I love you, Mayor. Got it? Got it, Mayor? Uh -huh. <laughs> so my name is Ellen, but yes. Right, right. I meant, you know, that you can convey oh, that. I know what you meant. So, you know what I meant? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's them okay. when they chase me down in the store and say not in the store not recently but Meredith <laughs> I don't know I know oh exactly goodness, Ellen. no definitely yes. not Maggie 15 years of Grey's Anatomy and the faith thing about each other Aww. we dress alike <laughs> we do <laughs> we do we frequently accidentally come to work in the very same or similar clothing <laughs> <laughs> Because we're both bad and bougie. That's why. <laughs> Uruguay? U Uruguay. Wow. Favorite season? Could, Uruguay. Did, oh, no. They're all, they're all my favorites. I Ellen, always... where's Tino? Did you say yeah. something? Season one, so good. Classic, classic. Where's Tino? Um... I don't know. He's probably upstairs sleeping. Oh, is that they were asking where Tino is? Teens, I don't know where he is. <laughs> Little baby. Um, I saw one up here. Let's see. Uh, well, we can't save you from coronavirus because we're only fictional doctors. I'm sure if it was a fictional virus, we'd nail it. But, you know, it's not. It's too <gasps> real. So. Look who just came into the room. <laughs> who Valentino Ivory. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Tino the puppy. There's Steve. There he is. <laughs> You're all pixelated on my end for some reason. I don't know why I have such terrible reception tonight. Huh. Um, all right. Listen, okay. I gotta go. I gotta go meet Kim in her live, and you gotta make room for Jesse in yours. He was very yes. confused coming into this room and seeing me here. Um, <laughs> I love okay. you. Good night. Love you too. Good night. We'll All talk right. Soon. Later. Bye. Have fun with Kim. Bye. No. Nope. How do I get Jesse? This one. Cool. That's some bullshit, the good doctor. <laughs> <laughs> He's not there. Oh, he, he is. is, but I just can't get to him. Yeah. Jesse? Hold on. Sorry, trying to get Jesse. Come on. There he is. Waiting for Jesse Williams. Here he comes. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, the line is mad long to get in this club. <laughs> well, 
but you VIP, so you know. You happen to just catch me uh, just lounging, you know, just kind yes. of fireside <laughs> with, with, a, with a glass of vino. What are you guys up to? Wait, I w my K. I want a glass of wine so bad. I just had a tea. Yeah. Um, watching the show. I wasn't in this episode, so I'm not even. Am I even in this episode? I don't think you're in it either. It's the um. The I, I don't. I don't generally. I don't generally watch television that I'm not on. So this is kind of. <laughs> well, then you should watch this episode. Then. <laughs> Breaking policy. Who even are these people? Who's that? Well, that's Kim Raver, and I don't know the other woman. Oh, she's pretty. I don't know. I don't. This is. This was her. I, am I giving away a spoiler? This was the woman she was in love with, right? Oh. Oh, that's a spoiler, I think. Look at the numbers. Juice! My dog is a maniac. Wait. Is your dog, is Juice there? Yeah. Here, Tino. Tino's a maniac, too, Jesse. Tino's a maniac, too. Tino's got an attitude problem. Well, you know. Um, so how do we do this live? So what do we want? Wait, say that again. How do we do that? What do we? What do the people want to want to do? Do we ask questions? Hi, Brazil. They're awake for us. Love you, yeah, Brazil. Brazil's awake. Kylie yeah, loves to be yeah. part of this. I don't. I wish I knew that language. It's not even any vowels in that word. Um, <laughs> Argentina's in the building. Um, most people are asking how come we're not in this episode, but that's a fair question. <laughs> Brazil, more Brazil. It's understandable. Your Wi-Fi is so bad, Ellen. Is it? No, no that's what somebody wrote. That's oh, what somebody wrote. Said that. I don't you know look, why. you look great, Taylor. The first thing she said was like, "Damn, Ellen looks hot." <laughs> Thank you, Tay. Both look hot. Hi, Tay. You Tay. Want a taco? <laughs> no, I don't need any more tacos, babe. Thank you. This same, this same uh, quarantine. I'm gonna put. I'm packing on a nice quarantine twenty. Exactly. Over here, yo. I need to. Um, once I finish my isolation, I need to come use your gym. Um. Oh my God! Thank God for the gym. But I should be in the gym more. I should, I've been baking cakes. It's not really good. I saw Eli trying to fuck that cake up. I mean, listen. Because it's so fun to do with the kids. Like it's it's such a good activity, you know. If if um if I are have they all really in? It's it's like it's math, you know. They love doing it. So unfortunately, it's been like one of our favorite pastimes. Uh oh, Kim Raver getting down. What Kim Raver's hooking up with a woman? Yup. What's this? <laughs> It's a show called Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> oh, I'm, now I'm watching. Now you, got, you had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. Who is this chick? What? The, I don't remember that storyline. I, I don't. I'm confused now. I think that I think the lesson here is that like neither one of us read or pay attention to anything that doesn't have us in it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the that's the takeaway here. Why should we? I mean, just kind of check. What? Okay, so was she in love with this chick too or no? I thought, I did not know this. Teddy Altman. Wait, that's a different woman though. Oh wait, she said Allison. The lady's name that she was in love with is Allison. So it's not this woman, it's the one it's... she was just making out with. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, why does it have to be spoilers? Jesse, you're in it. Am I in it? I didn't see myself in it. Wait. Johnny Naked 19. Teddy, my God, says, the girl with Teddy were both dating the same woman. Riz is just doing his part. I'm just reading these comments. Oh, I remember that girl. I've seen her and stuff before. Yeah. I don't pay I don't, it's okay. I don't pay attention to anything Ellen's not in either. I'm with you. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. So who's the lady at the bar? That lady I've seen before. I've seen that actress before. Lily but I don't know who the lady at the bar was. Lily, that's so weird. I'm in it at the end. You're in it at the very end. Yeah, that's usually when they call that where they realize what they do, guys. It's just an insider for the fans. They they schedule out, they sketch out 
the episode. Usually I'm not available because I'm such a busy guy. So I don't really get to go to much. And then by the end, they're like, we're missing a little a pop. We need a little pop of something. So then they call me up and ask me if I'll swing by for one scene. Because my contract, <laughs> my contract requires, I've got, I've got the Pompeo contract, which is just one scene require min, minimum, maximum. So I swing by and I just do one reverse sneezing. Bro, that dog needs to show you right. This dog is totally fucking this, this little drag. This was my, this was my son's alligator. It used to be my son's alligator. It's, wait, it looks like an octopus. It, well, yeah, now it does, yeah. <laughs> I'm just on cotton duty, making sure he doesn't ingest all the filler. Um, now what, what lesbian scene's happening here? Okay, nice. Wait, Kim nice. Raver looks so pretty with no makeup on. My goodness. Kim Raver, her, her, Teddy gets it in. <laughs> Teddy is a busy woman. <laughs> she is busy. And she's like the popping out babies in between orgasms. It's pretty intense. Right, right, right. This chick is gorgeous too. I, I'm can sorry, we I'm ask you guys questions? Like yes, you guys can terrible. ask us questions. Ask away. That was really rude. I said this them. chick. She's a lovely actress. I didn't work with her, so I, I guess I'm not supposed to know her name, but I didn't mean to be. I've seen crap. her stuff. Crap. Just like all right, Panama right City, now. Florida. I've seen all of Grey's Anatomy twice in less than two months. Are you proud of me? I'm concerned for you. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. Brazil is heavy, which I learned when yes. I was in Brazil. They they fuck with us heavy. Peru. Yes. I can say I can curse on here, right? Um, yes. Brazil fucks with us heavy for sure. As a main character, can you say hello to Allison and Kim from North Pole, Alaska? No, Whoa. I can't. I can't. Um, hello from New Zealand. You've both been on Grace for a very long time. What's been your most emotional, inspirational episode so far? Oof. That's too many. There's, there's so many. Yeah. Which season? Have, have you seen the entire? I've seen the entire season multiple times. Guys, ask good questions. Talk to us. Um, favorite episode from this season? I don't think it's aired yet. What's your fa What's your favorite episode? Um. Have we, what have we done this season? Um, I can't remember. I'm so it just there. It's all a blur. They, they we shoot them again. so fast. Like we sometimes shoot two or three episodes at a time, so they all yeah. Kind of like people don't really realize really that. Hard. And also because I was doing so many episodes of Station 19 that I just blend them all together. Right. Paraguay in the building. West Virginia says hi. Welcome to the uh, coronavirus show. You guys finally got in the mix. Um, <laughs> that was in poor taste. Who's your favorite guest star? Um, we have such good characters. We have such good actors. Um, we had that, that scene where the guy the get, like swallows a fish and gets him stuck in his throat. Um, those two, like the dumb like college guys, were really funny. Those were good guest stars. Um, Florida's here. Season. That was, I feel like it was this season. That's the other thing. It's like we read the scripts that the table reads, so, but then when we're actually filming the scenes, if someone's not in our scene, sometimes, you know, we don't see the other actors. We don't see, they film all I don't, the scenes on one day. So Yeah, that, I don't, you don't meet them. That actually happened. we don't have happened. any scenes together, we won't even see each other. No, Taylor was on the show years ago. I never even met her. That's so crazy. Yeah. Okay, a lot of... Uh, I know, and I didn't see Taylor when she was on the show either. I didn't meet her there either. I did not meet Beanie. No, I didn't meet Beanie either. Who's Beanie? No, ma'am. Beanie Feldstein. I couldn't only bring so one back. The funny thing is, I met Beanie's mom at the hair salon once, and she told me what a fan of the show her daughter was. Um, and then, Beanie's like, her real later. name, or that's a character name on the show? No, Beanie's her real name. It's a good name. Yeah, it's a great name. You want to take this one? Uh, if you only bring back one character, would it be Lexi, Mark, or uh, Derek? Uh, Lexi, because she's my sister. There you go. Yeah. Solid, solid answer. Sherry Som is that actress's name. There we go. Sherry Som, killing Sherry it. Sherry Som, she's fantastic. Turning, turning Teddy Altman out on uh, ABC. <laughs> or did Teddy turn her out? Welcome to the Disney family. <laughs> 
<laughs> Quality uh, family entertainment. There you go. Drew, stop eating all this cotton. It was a super close up on two dudes making out on um on Grace? Station nineteen, the last scene of station nineteen was like remember that scene you were making out with Vic and it was like up the nostril cam and Sienna was like, Mom, why is Jesse kissing that girl on the TV? Really? <laughs> yeah. It was like the closest the camera was in your tonsils. I do not. Where? Where? What? What? What scene? Inside of the hospital? Yeah. You guys were oh, like yeah. on an exam table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I remember that. It was, it was really was it? close. Super tight. <laughs> Big, tight shot. No one needs to be that tight on your disturbing, tonsils. Disturbing the children. It was, it was disturbing to No, my not child. anymore. Not ever, not ever since the incident. I feel like um, the questions like stopped. My oh, questions stopped loading. Well, I mean, they stopped loading. Oh. Um, the, yours, my last one is the Ellen, Lexi Martin. Can you say something in Italian? Jesse, could you? I, this, it's so fast. It's like by the time you read them. I think I'm going to reset mine. I'm going to go like this. Oh. Now you're gone. I don't speak Spanish, guys. And, and my Italian wouldn't be considered speaking Italian. I have a good accent, but I really need Italians to, like, feed me the words, and then I can just repeat them. I love you, too. Jesse, where'd you go, homie? Trying to get him back. Now it's gone down again. Yo. Hi. I got bumped. Send me a list, please. Yeah, I'll send you a list. That's what you get for spelling kiss wrong. Calm down. <laughs> um, Perfect. You got to also know that the sacrifices I'm making for this live, this fireplace is really fucking hot on the back of my neck, I just realized. So... Are you Okay, so as, as romantic as it seems, I'm gonna scoot away. See, he art directed his Instagram live. Oh, so hold on. Who is this dude? <laughs> He's um one of her old colleagues from a hospital she worked at before. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, remember she's been talking about him too. He wants her to move to Boston with. Him. I don't listen to her, which is probably why the relationship didn't work out. <laughs> I mean, damn. She said she was taking a trip. Yep, but she bumped into him in the lobby. The way he opens the curtains is corny. <laughs> Jesse, come on, don't hate now. No, I'm just kidding. Don't hate because he has better abs than you. He, he's got abs, so those are better than me. <laughs> Handsome bastard. <laughs> come, keep, come be on Grey's Anatomy and you have to be in your underwear. That's the rule. Wait, wait, how many abs does he actually have? That's a lot. I'm sure it's six or under. Let's not get excited. No, no, I feel like it was more. <laughs> when I was younger, I had eight. <laughs> This is like a full-on thing. What's his name? Who is this? Thing? Who is this? Who is this? Um, I forget his character name. He's, is he coming back? Has he been on the show more than once? Um, no. But she references, or her character references, yo, he's got his hands. Yeah, he's definitely doing, there was a bit of a butt touch there. I don't, I don't know you're allowed to do that. A butt touch? That was a full-on butt touch. He must be a guest star. They get excited. The guest stars get excited. <laughs> You guys should know that also about our, our, our jobs. <laughs> Visitors get a little handsy. Also, the elderly. The older, the older community gets a little handsy, too. <laughs> Just as a, speaking as a director and an actor. <laughs> speaking of abs, speaking of abs, 
Giacomo in the beginning of this scene, you should have seen Debbie Allen in this dress. Her waist was like a Kardashian. It was that yeah. big, her waist. Snatched. Yeah, the, uh, she looked yeah, unbelievable. It's hard, yeah, with your mom being a sexy beast on the show. It's very good. It's a lot of mixed, mixed emotions. Speaking of uh, the uh, handsome dude, Giacomo just joined. What's up, sir? Oh, did he, Giacomo? Yeah. He's probably Where in the gym. He? He's probably in the gym knocking out crunches or something. <laughs> now or he's got abs, too. Being, being got... handsome on He's probably riding on his motorcycle. Or he's probably climbing up some mountain. Yeah. He's always hiking, riding the motorcycle, doing some sexy things. He's just like a People Magazine sexiest guy, like audition tape. Right, you would be so mad if, if, if you two were in the running for that. That would be a tough loss. That would be a yes. tough loss. You would be mad. You would be mad. Is that your life goal, to get that? No, I already got it. I got it like my first month on the show, and then I oh, hung it up. Did? Well, no, Wait. it was of the week. It was of the week. It was, you, but, you know. You got the sexiest it was... man? Of the week, of the week. Oh, oh, oh. But it was a long week. It was like an eight-day week, so. Right, it, right. Yeah. During the leap year. I think it was a hot, yeah, I think it was a Labor Day or something. It was a, <laughs> we got, it's up on my mom's wall. It's big. In, Mass <laughs> in Massachusetts, it kills. It's uh. In Massachusetts or Maine? Well, Massachusetts, she lived in, she lived in Braintree at the time. Oh, she didn't, she didn't yeah. bring it up to the cabin? Yeah, no. No, then. Border Patrol is pretty tight about fake Man, the woods. Yeah. Your boy JT's last album, Man of the Woods. Oh, that's right. I yeah. thought that phrase looked familiar, sounded familiar. Yeah. I don't think that worked out too well, the Man of the Woods. That wasn't a banger? No, the I Timberland, think you tried to go back. Timberland didn't produce that one? The Woods. I think he tried to, to, to get back with the, with, um, with the, the soulful music, I think. Ah. Uh, I think he did some Missy Elliott joint or something. Now, Juice, an update. Juice is going to hump the horse. Oh, you know please don't do that, Juice. You got to get Juice a girlfriend, baby. Obviously, no. I know. We've been thinking about it. We've been thinking about it. I don't, you get sucked into this thing. It's like tattoos. You get one, and then you all of a sudden, you need, you're to Ellen Pompeo, and you have seven dogs running your house. I don't have seven. I have four. Yeah, well, they and sound like seven. I would have seven if Chris Ivey would let me, but he will not let me. He's a smart man. Which, by the way, I don't even understand why I let him tell me what I can. And what I, can. That concept mm -hmm. is I don't know that he would even notice if, if you got two more. I don't know that he would be less overwhelmed. I think he'd still be just as hilariously like just overrun. Ellen, for sure. Wait, who's calling me? Who is that? Who just said that? That was my impression of Chris Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, I actually got you. Like, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. We got too many as it is. What? They live here already? Uh, my mom doesn't let me have a dog. I mean, Brazil is overrunning all of y'all countries, so somebody needs to step up and represent. Paraguay. Body. Paraguay is now. Paraguay, Argentina. Fuck no, me and Katarina are the last name I win. I don't know what that vulgarity laced one was, but getting back Hi from to Africa. Here. For real? The whole continent, buddy. You don't have a country? <laughs> Portuguese. I have four dogs, lol. Oh, I look great on the show. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Niagara Falls, Mexico. Oh. Which episode number is this, by the way? How much? How many do we have this year with the with the? Assessment? Um. Well, we shut down early, so. Are we allowed to say? Um. I think we ha we're airing um. Twenty one episodes. Really? Yeah. That's good. Twenty one. Somebody already answered. Yeah. Unless that's their age. This is episode nineteen. Damn, you guys are on it. Okay. I'm so bummed. This this will be the first year in 16 seasons that we've never filmed the finale. This is a first. Well, guess what? They invented IG Live. We could get everybody on IG Live and film 
some situational at home fireside <laughs> finale. Except you can only put two people on IG Live. Well, then we could do some kind of some other thing and just create like I could call in a gas leak at Giacomo's house or Kevin McKidd's house. Oh, that's and then, a good like, idea. Except all the Giacomo's still on now, he hears that you're going to do that. Oh, shit. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. No, I think they're on delay though, because he's Canadian, so they, he doesn't know what that means. And, <laughs> and, Jumbo, are you hearing this shit? And then, like, we film it, and it looks like it's an emergency. And then we keep, as long as we keep six feet away from each other, we should have a social distancing episode. We're all six feet away from each other, but still, like, somehow discussing the practice of medicine. That's my favorite thing: is to be at least six feet away from you. All well, the time. See, I didn't well, just start this with Corona. Like, I, I want everybody to stay at least six feet away from you. Yes, when this is over, everybody should still continue to to respect, keep six feet away from me at all times, even when yes, this is over. Please. Yes. There's uh, a lot of commercials. People are making a lot of money off of our show. Yeah. Well, no, that actually pays our salary. Oh no! I, I know. I'm encouraging it. We want more of the tampons. Yeah. Just do do your worst, ladies. Yeah. Just, um. A cute kid. We need a coronavirus episode. Yeah, I'm sure, guys. I'm Actually, sure the writers are on. Show, I don't know the name of them. They're uh, all the other medical shows are irrelevant. The, really, honestly. yeah. But a Grey's derivative did show. A, a medical show, and they did. They did a, a um, an epidemic. Oh, really? And they're not airing it. They pulled it. Oh, word? Yeah, I read that today in the news. Huh. They should have kept I don't it. think that's technically news. I think that's technically, like, entertainment gossip, but whatever. Huh. Uh-oh. <gasps> Wait. What is it? Annalise Keating gets killed in the final episode of Murder? Somebody's getting the stab, the shit stabbed out of them. Whoa! These people are really damaged. They all kill each other. Yeah, they're they're bad people on that show. They're all murderers. It's really kind of weird that like. Peace to the gods, sculpt wax. We need um. What's the episode? Love you so much. Now, do you love Jesse or do you love me? I need to know. Me? Because oh, yeah. Love I'm, you so much is not love both of you. It's like. There's not a plural like for you. I think the default is me and, and they'll, they'll mention, they'll give you initials or something if it's you. I see. If, if you it's like Brazil. To go get a drink or refresh your wine, they'll, they'll love me if they have yeah. to. Yeah, fair enough. That's a pretty shot of Kelly. Yeah, enough with this, these two. Who cares, honestly? <laughs> Let, uh, Does she have a Michael Jackson jacket on? Lanyard. Wait, hold on. The lanyard around his neck. It looks fine around hers, but... Uh -oh. He just... Something. He said something. He was like, I'm going to go get a fresh lineup. I'll be back. He's great. He should come back. Yeah, I think I think had we shot the full season, there was they would have they would have done more. Well, there was in the script that we just read, she had said he wants me to move to Boston. He wants me to so that oh. would mean that he would come to Seattle for her probably. Okay, okay. Take as much time as you He'd need. He'd be good on the show. Do a study. Write a paper. Okay. I just don't think that I'm going to feel any differently about this in a few hours oh, or a few yes. months. Okay. Oh. Who's his dentist? That's what I want to know. <laughs> nice, classy cheek kiss. Keeping it, keeping it subtle. Uh-huh. She got a little Michael Jackson jacket. That's cool. <laughs> oh, is this, is this oh, the chief? Oh, this is, speech? yes. Yes. All right. Pay attention, y'all. Oh, get ready. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Memorial Hospital. Jackson, nothing's showing yet. I know, Mark. Oh, yeah. You said this was going to work. Will you sit down, please? I'm working on it.